Now I'm going to talk to you about the real pipes. The real pipes, uh, again, this set that I'm showing you are bellows blown. Although I should add that all our small pipes can be purchased with in a mouth blown version as we now have very excellent moisture control systems today but given my choice I would recommend the bellows because you're never going to get any moisture whatsoever so stability of tuning uh, becomes less of an issue and also it's learning a new skill so I always recommend bellows pipes but we do have excellent mouth blown pipes for those of you who think they would prefer that. The real pipes are designed and are absolutely ideal for playing with other instruments and in group settings. Uh, you can play them solo at home and they're fantastic also for that. They are very, very sweet in sound. They're an octave higher than the small pipes and uh, which gives them that bit of extra bite. They've got a sound simil quite similar to the Highland pipe, although very, very sweet. And uh, as I say, they're absolutely ideal for playing with other instruments. They're very stable tuning and uh, are very, very exciting to play. Also, you have the added advantage of having the cross finger notes, and we do our best to, to see, uh, to ensure that we get as close to a full chromatic scale as possible, and I can demonstrate that to you later. Uh, the drones. Again, we've got the drone switch, as I explained earlier, with the A small pipes, which is a great advantage for, for all players, are tuned to A, A, E, except this time the E is an alto, it's a small E drone, which gives it a very, very uh, bright kind of sound and uh, just really changes the colour of, of, of the drones. And you'll hear that later. It's not too strident. It's, it doesn't get in the way of the A. The, you, what you hear with the drones is mostly A and then a slight beautiful colour tinge with the, with the small E. I really do like it. Again, one of the advantages of the real pipes is that you get all the effects of, that you would with a Highland pipe. You can get a good crack off the chanter. You, the ornamentation ra can rattle in like you do on the Highland pipes. But at the same time, you're getting complete acoustic compatibility with instruments like accordion, fiddle, guitar, and they're absolutely ideal for playing with these instruments. That's They really are designed around that and uh, are a lot of fun to deal with. So the best thing I can do, as before, is let you hear them.